This video shows operation of three Roomba models. Out of the box, it's easy to get your Roomba ready to go in three easy steps. One, remove the bin and discard the protective insert. Two, turn it upside down and remove the battery pull tab. Three, set the clock and use the home base to charge Roomba overnight. Make sure the home base is on a hard, level surface against a wall where Roomba has a clear path to it. Do not put the home base within four feet, a little more than a metre, of a stairwell. Your Roomba is pretty smart at getting around, but it needs a little help first. So clear away any clutter and loose cables and make sure the floor is free of anything wet. Use your remote control or start your Roomba manually. Press clean once to turn it on. You'll hear a beep and the clean button will light up. Press clean again to start a cleaning cycle. When on the home base, simply press clean and Roomba will go. To pause while cleaning, press clean. And to resume, press clean again. To turn off, press and hold the clean button until the lights turn off. Roomba returns to the home base at the end of a cleaning cycle or when its battery is running low. Always recharge Roomba between cleaning cycles. The battery icon pulses an amber colour when charging and turns solid green when Roomba is completely charged. Roomba has three cleaning modes. In clean mode, Roomba calculates the size of the room and adjusts its cleaning time appropriately. In spot mode, Roomba spirals about three feet or one meter in diameter and then goes back to where it started, intensely cleaning a localized area. In scheduled cleaning mode, Roomba cleans at times you select. To schedule Roomba, please refer to the clock and scheduling section of the DVD. Virtual walls create an invisible barrier up to seven feet long, or about two meters, that Roomba will not cross. There are two types of virtual walls, manual and auto on. A manual virtual wall must be turned on manually. It will shut off after 135 minutes. If the power light blinks slowly, it means you'll need new batteries soon. When an auto-on virtual wall is set to auto mode, the power light blinks periodically to indicate it's on. When the batteries are low, the light blinks twice periodically to indicate that it needs new batteries. A virtual wall lighthouse is powered by two C alkaline batteries and can act as both a virtual wall and a lighthouse. In lighthouse mode, it helps Roomba navigate around your home. In virtual wall mode, it blocks out areas you don't want cleaned. Simply use the mode selector to make your choice. And remember, don't move Roomba from room to room during a cleaning cycle. Either way, it turns on and off automatically as you turn your Roomba on and off. When on, the light on top shines, a bit like a real lighthouse. A flashing light means you'll need new batteries soon. After every use, empty Roomba's bin and clean the filter. The brushes do a lot of hard work, and just like a hairbrush, 
Every week or so, it's best to take them out and remove the hair and fluff that collects around them and under the brush bearings. Be sure to view the cleaning bins and brushes section for details. Extend Roomba's battery life by recharging it as soon as possible and storing your Roomba plugged in. For long-term storage, remove and store the battery in a cool, dry place. As your Roomba contains electrical parts, don't submerge or spray it with water. Clean with a dry cloth only. Before using Roomba for the first time, please refer to the important safety instructions in the owner's manual. Roomba talks to you when something is wrong and the troubleshooting light blinks. To repeat the error message, press the Clean button. Refer to the troubleshooting chart in the owner's manual to resolve Roomba's problem. For more help, visit http://global.irobot.com.